what is going on guys this is the ninja reviewer here and well after this it is going to be the live reaction like i promised but i do have a really early shift in the morning tomorrow for work so i'm trying to get these out as soon as i can so yes starting off with the greatness what is known as one piece wow baby chapter 835 wait what the fuck is this title called the Nation of Souls. That's a pretty fucking scary title. I'm not gonna lie. And of course, right in front, we see the Ichigo Kurosaki. We see Ichigo and the color panel thingy. Now I'm like, yep, I already know. I already know. Don't remind me. Don't fucking remind me, manga stream. That sadly, this is today the very final chapter of Bleach. And again, that's the live reaction that I promise to bring to you guys a lot later. And then, you know, giving my little history on the manga and stuff. Not too long, don't worry. It's not gonna be a long explanation. So anyways, uh, it's time to do One Piece chapter 835 live reaction slash review. Here we go. And we got a color page of Luffy and the Kazoo. I'm telling you guys, Shonen Jump is doing some really shady, shady business tactics. We have uh, Mook D. Luffy as a uh, as a uh, uh, casino guy, or one of the dudes that run like the the the, the uh, whatever it is, the fucking the blackjack shit, or the uh, yeah, you know, that's what I mean, yeah, yeah. So we have that, and we have the rest of the Shonen Jump people as chibis. Um, yeah, we got the. Yeah, we got the uh, the blackjack thing uh, table here, and the chips. We got all the chibi Shonen Jump representatives as chips. Uh, no, not chips. Representing and grabbing some chips. We see Bo um, we see uh, Bizuku right there from My Hero Academia. Saitama. We see uh, that one girl. I forget his name. Her name from that series. I know she's in J Stars. The dude with the bike. He's also one of the main partners. That's not a chibi. Surprisingly enough, not Ichigo. There's Ichigo. Wow. That's sad. You have Ichigo Kurosaki as a fucking bartender thing or the thing for the chips, whatever. And sadly, you don't even recognize that, hey, you don't even get a proper color page or a color thing of Shonen Jump, a cover, sorry, a cover, saying that this is your final chapter and the Bleach series is ending. Wow. That is pretty shitty, I'm not gonna lie. But granted, though, the chibis do look pretty cute. But still. Anyways, let's just dive right into the chapter, because I ain't got time for that. But seriously, though, wow. And of course, and of course, and of course, more promotion for fucking Film Gold, which is like, I guess, some theater food you can get along the way. Oh, wait, isn't that like those one of those AMC theater things where you can, like, eat food or some shit? Kind of looks like that. Or unless it's something else, and I'm just, like, not mistaken. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, let's dive right into that. Hell, wow, really, dude, another color page? Wow, that's pretty freaking crazy. We're getting yet another, another one. He comes another one, another color page. Shit, wow, there's like the third one. Actually, I'm gonna save this one. I might actually keep this one as my other background this time, because, yeah, saving that. Um, Yeah, this actually looks cool. I like that a lot, and it's like a polar bear thing. Where he's being representative, they're like in this polar bear Caribbean island sort of thing, and they're sharing them ice cream cake, chopper looking all kawaii, eating that Nami, Sanji, Brooke, and them, they're all eating this like weird Sunday thing made from penguins and a panda. Oh no, not a panda, um, polar bear, sorry. Anyways, let's start right in, come on, I already wasted like four minutes. Jesus Christ! Wow, the theory, the, the conspiracies are so right, man. I think Shonen Jump really is planning some shit. Really planning some shit. Like, they're really doing some shady tactics. Finally, the chapter. Jesus Christ, you wasted like three minutes of my of my life that I'm not going to get back. But granted, though, yeah, so, wow. Chocolate Town. Once every six months, in this dreamlike nation, each of its individual citizens are asked one question in particular, the hidden truth, and of course the title of the chapter, The Nation of Souls. The question is, what the fuck? Don Slime from Toriko? What the? Yo, it's Don Slime! Wait, wait, Don Slime? 
This ain't fucking Toriko. What the hell is this shit? Okay. Hello, Don Slime from Toriko. Uh, is this what you're reduced to after getting defeated by Neo? Okay. Wow. That's pretty, That's crazy, dude. He looks exactly like Don Slime a bit. Yo, that kind of fucking hyped me up a bit. Yo, what is this shit? Yo, that's crazy. All right. All right. All right, Oda. All right, Oda. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, Oda. You're trying to reuse Toriko characters that have been dead. Yo, straight up, he's almost identical, man. Straight up, Don Slime status from Toriko. Okay, okay, let me, let me just get the end of the chapter. Sorry, 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 I'm wasting time. God damn it. The question is straightforward, leave. Leave or life? Life or life? Leave or life? Life. Oh, that's why it's called the Nation of Souls. Okay, it's basically a question. They hint to them these, like, ball things and what their fucking souls are being taken them out what the f fuck is this supposed to be the ceremony where Sanji and Pudding are supposed to be married and what the hell is this what in God's name is this thing that the fucking Don Slime lookalike just took out what is that okay I don't get that. That was just straight out of no man's land. Okay, so we're back to the seducing woods. Yet again. Um, they keep multiplying. They're all making those weird animal sounds. You guys, just what in the world happened? <laughs> what the fuck? They're all the, um... The fake posers of, like, the crew. Sanji, skier, skier. Pudding, tweet, tweet. What the fuck? Tweet, tweet. Chopper, wolf, wolf. Dude, we ain't no dog. What the fuck? Carrot. Why? Why? Why hissing? Wait, rabbits don't fucking hiss. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Roar, Navi. Unite me now or die. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, that's kind of a bit too weird. <coughs> this one's chalk. This one's talking just like the original. And Nami's like, it's the real me. <laughs> he fucking beats the shit out of Luffy. Damn. Okay. So that really is the real Nami then. Okay. So it is really her. So she must have got mixed up in this particular. I be, I be do do be. I guess means I'm sorry or something. I'm so sorry. I guess it means. Anyways, I've been busting my behind looking for you. And how do you thank me by ambushing? Then snatching, uh, by ambushing and snatching, then try, then tying me up. <laughs> the hoot hoot, what the fuck? Mew. Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous. Pudding's going hoot hoot. The fake time is going mew. He goes, I have to admit, this is beyond strange. And you're right. She, the spinning image of me from head to toe. Oh wait, that is not me. I thought I was pudding. Never mind. So I was okay. So it is not me. This wouldn't even be an issue if the real individuals were just mixed in along with the sea of imposters you found. And Luffy's like, wait a second, then this means you guys didn't purposely multiply just for fun. That's physically impossible. That is physically impossible. Well, that again, unless you have your, um, your climb, your tempo thingy where you can actually make those bubble clone things for yourself. I wonder if she can still do that. I'm pretty sure she can, but not so sure. She might be able to do that still, because I missed that. That was some cool shit. Jeez, you continue to reach brand new heights of idiocracy. <laughs> it's so true. Anyways, you sh you you should have an inkling as to what's been going on, shouldn't you? I mean, you were just quietly sitting back and watching as this ambush unfolded. He goes, I have a good excuse, though I can't move. Ambush? Did something happen? We we, we were attacked by you, Luffy. M me? Oh, okay, wait, what? What the fuck? Why is this not going? Is like manga string broken or some shit? Well, hold on. Oh, there you go. Uh, well, to be exact, it was an imposter impersonating you who tagged along with us as we repeatedly made futile to attempt to escape from this forest. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, we were just talking about that, that fake Luffy. Um, that Bruli character, yeah. <laughs> the one looks like an ugly ass witch and shit. The out of the blue, the imposter transformed into this huge woman, and take a look at the scar on my face. Isn't it just terrible? Who are you? The name's Bruli. Okay, so they're showing exactly how Nami, Carrot, and Chopper actually escaped from them. The thing is, whenever I see such flawless Harlan faces, I come over with the urge to slice them up. Help! W w where's Luffy? Uh, Nami! Uh, who knows? But chances are he's probably lost somewhere deep inside this forest by now. 
Hmm. Well, here we go. Nami's taking out her dildo. Just kidding, it's the Climate Temple, but you pretty much get it. Climatic. Uh, yeah, there we go. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's been so long since we've seen Nami do that stuff, man. Yo, it's been a long time. Oh, here we go. There's the climate. Oh, shit. Yo. Spin that shit right around. All right, that was close. Thank you, Usopp. And she goes, why, you little... <laughs> what the fuck? Is Kara just, like, speeding along? What the hell? Is she, like, just leaving Nami? Oh, wait, no, no, no. She's not. She's actually... No, she's actually trying to attack him. Oh, oh no, attack her. Elect Claw. Oh, shit, it's the electric shit. Yep, she's powering up. Elect Claw. Oh, that was cool. All right, so Carrot actually got into some action there. You go, Carrot. Wait, what the fuck? Is she punching an after image of herself? Oh, like a mirror of uh, course, mirror reflection. Oh, this bitch. So that's what her fucking powers are. So she uses like a reflection thing. Carrot. Carrot's first shot out of that mirror thing. <clears throat> I am a mirror, a mirror human who ate the mirror mirror fruit. Oh, the mirror mirror fruit. The mara mara no mi, which is like a mirror mirror fruit. Just as a mirror reflects all the light cast upon it. Oh, so I was right. So her devil fruit powers allow them to, see the, uh, to use the mirror reflection actually to get like those copies of the straw hats. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, okay, so we got that. Uh, if you try to punch my mirror, it'll simply reflect that blow right back at you. And he goes, and then Carrot's like, I'll just shatter that stupid mirror of yours into pieces. Oh, shit. Careful, Carrot. Yeah, careful. Oh, no. No, Carrot. Oh, no. Mirror World. Oh, shit. Okay, we're definitely going with some Alice in Wonderland territory here. Oh, shit. Mirror World. And the carrots just sucked right back in. What the fuck? Huh? I I can't get out. I can't escape. Let me out of here. Oh, poor carrot. Uh, no shit. She's in the mirror. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Aw, oh, man. So carrots in there. Ah, oh, that one's down. What in the world did you do? Give carrot back to us. Nami, don't go near her. Um, <clears throat> Nami, no. Don't you fret. I won't plan on killing you. Besides, haven't you all realized it by now? No, Carrot. Mama is really well aware that you're all trespassing on our territory. <coughs> Were you under the impression that you had infiltrated the island? Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but the only reason I'm here is because Mama ordered it. That one over there. These ones over here. Oh my god, flowers. No. We're not going to some fucking Undertale shit. No, fuck you. Fuck you, Flowly. No one cares for you. So, then the dude, the fucking apple juice freak, is just watching this whole shit. So, I don't know what his game is, but we're gonna find out, I guess. All those guys over there. Even that one over there. We've all received the same order from her. Let the Star Hats wander and roam around aimlessly for a bit. But under no circumstances are you to let them meet up with Sanji. When you finally confront them, make sure they fully understand the consequences of going against my wishes. Hoi, 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 hoi. A fucking weird ass laugh. I swear to God. <clears throat> what? Now then, homies. Really? Manga stream. Really? Manga stream. Really? Now then, homies. Oh, homies? Really? Like, yo, what up? These are my homies. These are my posse. My boot, my dudes, man. Like, seriously? Seriously, Manga Stream? Are we really going with this fucking stupid translation? Now then, homies. I'm pretty sure he meant, like, now then, my something, whatever. But homies? Really? You're not a fucking gangster? What the hell? Sure, you don't lose sight of those two. You're just a nasty ass hoe, but you ain't a gangster. You ain't never pop nothing. Anyways, let's move on. Are you allowed to move now? Oh shit, so Chopper just got out. Ah, Chopper. Nami, run. We're outnumbered right now. Luffy has zero chance of making it out safely out of all three of us get caught. You have to find him and tell him what's going on. I'll hold him off and buy him as much time as I can. Oh shit, he's using the rumble ball. And Chopper's gonna go full, completely giant reindeer control shit. We're up against the crew of one of the four emperors. And it's just dawn, uh, uh, dawn on me now that we've underestimated them greatly. Yeah, no shit. 
Oh, yeah. So, okay, okay, Chopper. Okay, Chopper. So, he knows that he what she is one of the four people. I mean, she is one of the people that are working on their big mom. So, it makes sense that Chopper was kind of like, shit. Like, we pretty much underestimate these guys. Like, I think it's about time. I think it's about time that I actually get serious. Like, damn. So, Chopper's going with the Rumble Ball to get into that big-ass fucking form. Oh, shit. So, he's really, really huge. And now he's back to that King Kong size. Okay, I'll be back shortly with reinforcements. So Nami's run the fuck away with escape. You, you, you. This is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> that laugh, I swear to god, is gonna be like the death of me. Who, who, who. This is amazing. I had you paid as an interesting one from the get go. But the thing that this will be the extent of your abilities. Mama's going to be ecstatic. She was never going to be content with just all the races of the world. So she's been collecting all manners of beasts on the side as well. Holy, holy shit. And Nami's still running away from these fucking creepy ass fucking trees that are just like smiling and just like disturbed and shit. Come out, come out, wherever you are, little girl, and so on. And so, since I've been running through these woods like a chicken with its head cut off, someone's in the dark trying to find you. That's crazy, I'm glad we found each other. Oh man, so that pretty much just what happened where, so that's how Nami was pretty much able to escape and now apparently Chopper is going to be holding her off, which kind of makes sense I guess because it's like, you know, you underestimate someone who's working on a big mom, so of course she's going to pull out some tricky shit. It's pretty obvious, some tricky dicky shit. Still through the dark trying to find you, that's crazy, I'm glad find oh yeah, I read that part. Now we should hurry up and go save Chopper and Carrie. Where are they? Right here. The story I just told you took place right here, but as you can see, there isn't a single trace of anyone. Oh, because of the mirror world? So that's why I've been um, integrating the big guy over here. You must have been watching the whole time. Where are Chopper and Carrot? Care to explain why neither that woman Bruli nor her weird tree henchman didn't harm a single hair on your head? The only logical explanation is that you're, you're their accomplice. Me? Their ally? Who the fuck? Yeah, who are you? Seriously, why are you watching this shit? Who the fuck are you? Dude. Dude. You're hiding something, aren't you? You apple juice loving bastard. Who the fuck are you, anyway? Well, I guess I wouldn't exactly call them my enemies. I'll gladly tell you all I know, but first walk over in that direction to your left and grab me some of that sweet, sweet apple juice. We don't have time for that, but if you actually tell us something useful, I'll be happy to get you all the juice your heart desires. You mean that? Of course. Besides, you've been talking about it so much that I kind of want to try drinking some too. Oh shit. By the way, you... You seem pretty strong. But you, not so much. Wait, what? <laughs> not to Nami. It's like, hey, you're not so strong as much. What? I'll have you know I am very much so. Why do you even ask? Damn, really? I see, I see. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. That reindeer guy was absolutely strong too, but those trees still pounced on him without the slightest bit of hesitation. Those guys really never stop until they've accomplished their dreams. Now that you mention it, what made those guys decide to stop pursuing me after a while? Um, yeah, that's a big question though. So wait, the trees actually got Chopper? But how though? I don't really get it though. I'm guessing it's because he must have, she must have pulled some bullshit how she might be able to actually reflect him through the mirror world or something like that, which is actually pretty crazy. And Nami's like, now that you mention it, what made those guys decide to stop pursuing me after a while? And in my case, after it beat the living crap out of them, they stopped harassing me. Luffy's like, how is it that they're able to move in the first place? Um, and then he's like, well, here in... Tot and Tuttle Land, every six months, each citizen is required to pay a toll. A month's worth of their soul given to the nation. Oh my god! Yo, that's why it's called the Nation of Souls. Fuck. No wonder why. She's a crazy bitch. Shit. She will sacrifice any fucking soul that she can get. And then. Wow. Um. Okay. Okay. So, that's why it's called the Nation of Souls. Wow. Craziest fucking bitch, I swear to God. I don't know if I can see this bitch as an ally. Like, I don't even know. Luffy's like, soul? Yeah, as well, basically, they have to give a part of their lifespan. 
A part of their lifespan, everyone who lives here loses two months of their lives in a single year, and a year's worth in six. Oh my god, how is this even possible? Well, you see, Lin Lin, uh, I mean, Big Mom, is an ability to eat this so, so... This nasty hoe, yo. Oh, no wonder why she's part of the four young girls. Oh, titties and milk, man. Yo, this shit is fucking crazy, dude. Ugh, oh, I don't want to take my shirt off, but goddamn. Whew, who ate the so so fruit? So, that's the. Wow. Oh my god. She's able to freely interact with people's souls. With that power, she takes some time out of the citizen's lifespan and sprinkle those human souls all throughout the island. Once this is done, the souls settle into the random objects, or things, and they end up getting humanized. Just to be clear, the souls cannot enter a corpse or the body of somebody else. Ah, okay. Huh. So those guys standing over there are just some of the things that those souls I mentioned earlier decided to settle inside. They're called the Hope. Oh, that, they really are called the homies? So they are called the homies. So it's not Manga Stream's translation's fault. Okay, so they are called the homie. <laughs> Big Mom, like, running a fucking gang and shit. Like, yo, these are my homies, my pops, man. Like, yo, what the fuck? Honestly, they called them the homies. As for the collection and assignments of these pieces of soul, they're all handled by the incarnations made out of Lin Lin, I mean Big Mom, oh, okay, so that's her real name, Lin Lin, I mean Big Mom's own soul. That is the secret behind the reality here. Oh my god, no one, oh, shit, oh my god. Now he's like, the chocolate town we visited earlier also had lots of living things that had no business being alive. Now it's all starting to make sense, what an outrageous ability. Is that why we came across a talking crocodile and that humanoid rabbit too? And he goes, yep, that is correct. Nothing stops the souls from stealing into animals. Wait, so is that what's going on with these guys too? It's an entirely different story. That's what he's saying. Those are just... Those are just some animals that were transformed by... Bruley's ability. And then Luffy's like, you could have said so earlier. I mean, you were right here the whole time. Yeah, but I really didn't want to get involved. Nami's like, what? If you actually don't want to be involved, then why did you bury yourself here? Why? Who the hell? Yeah, exactly, dude. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Like, honestly, who the fuck is this dude? Like, I want to know myself. And who the hell are you anyway? Just spit it out, and I'll get you some juice. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, so he's... Wow, his face changed. His lips curled up like it's sad and shit. What the fuck? Well, long ago, way, way, way in the past, I was once the husband of Chocolate, uh, Charlotte Lin Lin, otherwise known as the Pirate Big Mom. Yo, so this motherfucker was Big Mom's husband. Well, was her husband. Well, at least was. Maybe she might have divorced him or something. Maybe. It's a possibility. So she might have, like, divorced him or something. Oh, man. Like, that's... That's insane. Wow. So that was the big secret this dude was hiding. That he is really... Big mom's fucking probably ex-husband. That's probably what I guess. But once I gave her two daughters together, she threw me to the curb. Yeah, I fucking do it. She, she's an nasty hoe. She, she, she's just a hoe for sure. Seriously. As for the reason why nobody attacks me, 
Well, the truth is, nobody really gives a damn about me. Well, obvious reasons. And somebody is right the fuck behind him. I'm assuming it's that Don Slime looking motherfucker. I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. Bitch, I probably guessed it and I'm wrong, but we'll see. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. So it's not the Don Slime dude. Wait, who, who the fuck is that? Wait, he's grabbing his hair and he's like, whoa. And he goes, what? Huh? What the fuck? Have you lost your freaking mind? No! You just wingly and your detail gave precious intel to our enemies. You fool. What the fuck? What the hell is this? Big Mom Pirates, one of the three sweet commanders. Minister of Biscuit, Charlotte Cracker. Charlotte Cracker. So, okay. So he's part of the, uh, what was it again? Shit. One of the three sweet commanders, Minister of Biscuit. Okay. With that large head, we assume he'd be a giant. <laughs> That's so true. You have a point. Wait, Cracker. At least let me see some. Let me let me see Shiffin one last time. I heard that she got married. The least you can do is let me congratulate her. Please let me speak to Lin Lin. Nope, not gonna happen, bitch. I also heard that Lola. Yay, Lola! I was right on the money! Yeah, it's Lola! I told you Lola was in this shit too! She's got- I knew she was fucking related to Big Mom in a way! I fucking called Lola was related to Big Mom in a way! Yo! Woo! I call that shit, I called it. I already knew that from a mile away. So, so, she is there. But I don't know where the fuck she is though. That's the- let me read more. I also heard that Lola ran away. But she's also someone I still hold near and dear to my heart. As an actual lover, probably, I guess. Or maybe, oh, maybe that's Lola's father? That could be Lola's father, which is a big possibility. It is probably Lola's father, which is my possible guess. And that name rings a bell. Wait, it isn't. Wait, so Nami, of course Nami will remember. Lola? Oh, there she goes. She remembers. And that's the end of the chapter. So, wait, we're getting another chapter next week? Okay, Yoda. Okay, we're getting another chapter next week. Awesome sauce. Nice. We don't get a delay. We don't get a break. Okay, that's weird. I, I predicted we were going to get a break next time, but... Mm, no, mm, no, no break. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. He is the son. I'm sorry, I didn't see what they... Charlotte Cracker, the tenth son. So, he's the tenth son... Of, um, of the Big Mom Pirates. Yeah, okay. So, mm, okay then. So, no, there is a chapter next week. Okay, wow, okay. Okay then, okay. Uh, I didn't expect that, I swear to God. I did, I did not expect we were going to get a chapter next week, but okay, yeah, no breaks. Yay, awesome. So, no break, which I'm actually pretty, uh, pretty happy about. So, okay, so, yeah. So that was a pretty good chapter. Uh, I liked it. It was actually a good chapter. Not like a great or a fantastic chapter, but it was great. Um, we did get a lot of intel, a lot of information about that Dawn Slime looking motherfucker that's part of Big Mom's abilities, and we know it's basically a life sentence of like souls, like a sacrifice, like a toll, like a price you have to pay. So that was actually pretty interesting. We found out that, you know, it did progress the whole that that mirror bitch like we still know that that battle with him and chopper are still going on plus not to mention we still have the uh thing when it comes to um so now we found out that that was uh big mom's ex-husband that apple juice freak so we found that out and not only that but he was explaining all of the, the actual the double fruit so now we know what double fruit big mom actually has the soul soul no me so that's pretty much the devil fruit. So that's pretty much okay. So that's actually all right, all right. The soul soul fruit. God damn, the soul soul fruit. O P S fuck. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it for me. Wow. So yeah, that's pretty much about it though. I mean, we got a lot of good setup. A lot of things are moving along, you know. Finally, but still, I really want to know what what still is going on with Jimbe. I still want to know on if he really did. We didn't really get to see that, which kind of disappointed me. I wanted to see if we were really, really going to get the whole the whole Jimbe thing, where we're gonna find out what he really did. Um, I really, really wanted to see more. 
So, yeah, that's actually insane. So, this, this chapter of One Piece, man, mm, was loaded with so much information, man. Whew! A lot, a lot of information was revealed. A lot of shit. A lot of shit. So, wow. So, we do know that Lola is related to Big Mom as well. So, I'm assuming that could be Lola's father, which is my guess it probably is, but... All right, this is really interesting. So, yeah, about a uh, four to five. Yeah, I'll give it a four to five. It was a pretty good chapter. I actually really enjoyed it. It was a pretty good chapter. Not the greatest, not fantastic, but a pretty good chapter of things for, for things to set up, which I really like. The answers, though, were really strong for this chapter, and we do get to know a lot. So, mainly, yeah, it was a good chapter. It really was a really good chapter. I'm not even going to lie. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this chapter of... One Piece chapter 835, and I will see you guys later on for not only Toriko, but what I promised for, which is Bleach. Bleach! So, yeah, so I will see you guys there for that and for the final chapter of the Bleach live reaction slash review. So, until then, that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys a little bit later on. This is the Ninja Reviewer signing out. I will see you guys next week for chapter 836 live reaction slash review. Peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is the limit. Sky, God, and Aru. And yeah, so that's it. Anime manga fans, keep supporting what you read and what you watch, and that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later on for the other chapters.